Hi, I'm Megan, and I'm going to show you how to make an Eric Carl collage. So you're going to need a pencil, a pen, some scissors, um, a glue stick, and then some crayons to color on your tissue paper that you need to. Just white tissue paper, and I cut mine into squares, but you don't have to do that. So to make your paper, I like to put a piece of scrap paper underneath so I don't have to worry about accidentally drawing on the table. So you're just going to take a piece of your tissue paper. And there's two ways that I like to make the paper. So the first way is to unwrap my crayons like this. And then you're just gonna rub it. Be careful when you're doing this because the tissue paper tears really easily. So you just kind of gotta like not start all the way from the end so it doesn't tear as much. And I have to go in different directions just to make sure that you get it kind of covered in the color that you like. Sounds but I'm going to also take another color and do the same thing on top. You want to kind of try to just like push in one direction because this paper does tear really easily. I'm going to try and stick to like two to four colors on a piece of paper just so it doesn't get too uh, messy and crazy in there. Alright. So I think that's a good place to stop. There's how you do the, pa the paper one way. And then the other way I like to do it you don't need your crayons to be in a rack for this. I'm going to pick out a few colors. And then I hold one side. And then similar to how we did the other one, I'm just going to draw in one direction. I'm just making sure I kind of try to keep the edge of it um, down so that it doesn't there. And then once I decide that that's a good place to stop with that color, I'm going to do another one. Do the same thing on top. It's okay if it does rip because we're going to be cutting it out anyway. That looks like a pretty good place for me to stop with this piece. And then the last way that I do it, it's pretty similar to that way. I just I do, um, I do it like side to side, up and down, so then you get kind of like a checkered pattern.
So even if you don't use them for this project, you know, you can use them again another time for something. So alright. I like to make just a bunch of like random colors to choose from. But if you do know what you want to draw at the end, then you can make like specific colors for your drawing if you would rather. So I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a butterfly. You can draw food, you can draw animals, Sounds drive. plants, whatever. But Whatever you do, you want to keep it pretty simple with big shapes that are be easy for you to cut out. Sounds yeah, right. Add some pattern inside of your bag. Decided that I like it, I'm gonna outline it in pen. It's gonna be easier to trace this word. So sometimes it's easier if you just like cut off big pieces of it, so it's easier to hold. And then for my ring, 
find some miniatures again. This time, the, the kind of paper where you rub the crayon on is a lot easier to see what you're tracing in the other two kinds of paper. They all are going to work for this, so I'm just going to like, just give you two of them to help you. Once you cut out all your shapes, you're going to turn your paper over. So we're going to actually draw on the other side. And then I like to start uh, and just do like a little background and crayon. So I'm just going to like do some grass here. your background. I'm going to turn it back over and lay out where all your pieces go. You can kind of lay it on top if you want to. Just, just kind of figure out where everything is going to go. to go just slowly move it to the side without messing up where you put everything and then you can flip it back over get you're gonna get your glue stick you're gonna glue it all together finally so I'm gonna bring back the scrap piece of paper I used from earlier just so I don't get glue all over my picture. So get your glue stick and you're going to want to cover the whole thing in glue. Be careful not to press too hard because you don't want to rip your shapes.
And then once all your pieces are glued down, the last thing that I like to do is add all the tiny details that would have been too small for me to cut out. So I'm gonna put some eyes on my lace, on my butterfly. you wanted to add to if you're animal you can add eyes mouth whatever or if it's something else just anything that would have been too small for you to cut out but you still want it in your picture and then you're done